Hey guys, and welcome back to Little Busters. So, let's just jump right back in. She collapsed, and I hurried to catch hold of her. You don't need to blow so hard that you pass out. Uh-oh. Oz. She shook her head. It's fine to be so earnest about everything, but she should really use some common sense, which she obviously has none of. It'd be easier if you simply plucked them out of the flower. But that'd be a pity. Eh? I think it'd hurt if I plucked it. Really? I see. Once again, she turned towards the dandelion and took a breath. And... <gasps> the dandelion seeds flew up into the air. They flew! She was watching them fly up in the air with a happy look on her face. She began blowing at the remaining dandelions. They flew far away with the eastern wind. <coughs> she watched this with a look of delight. Looking at her face, somehow I ended up smiling myself. For some reason, when she was happy, it made people around her happy as well. That's just the kind of person she was. Aww. Ugh. I really, like, sometimes I aspire to be like Kamadi. Ugh. No, eh, Kamikita. On our way back to the classroom, we were stopped by the teacher of our next class. Uh, sensei, konnichiwa! Ah, good afternoon, Sensei! Oh, I just needed someone to help me. Eh? Help you with what? Or help you with something? I'm sorry, there's a handout I urgently need for the next class. Could you go make some copies for me? Copy it, huh? What should I do? Well, we are going to take on the task. Sure, I don't mind, but should I make copies for everyone in the class? It might take a while, but it's fine if you're late for class. I'm counting on you. All right, I understand. I took the handout and the copy card from the teacher. There were about four pages in all. Both sides of every page, please. I sighed as he left us. Oh, it was a guy. Whoops. <laughs> I sighed as he left us with those words and started walking away. Oh my, I must be short on luck today. It's fine, we'll be done in no time if we do it together. But there's only one copy card. Alright. With that, we could only use one copy machine. Well, let's go then. The copy room was near the faculty office. I headed there along with Kamari-san. Oh, we're gonna hold hands and be cute and you, you. A number of copiers and engraving machines were lined up there. There were also some machines I was unfamiliar with. The newspaper club or broadcasting committee members would probably know how to use them, though. I inserted the copy card into a copy machine. He, <laughs> the teacher's copy card has unlimited access. That's awesome! Well, I mean, she is, or he is a teacher. Whoops. As I inserted the card, Unlimited appeared on the display. Copiers that students could use could also be found in this library uh, and the school store. Huh? Isn't it Ikikun? Hearing a voice, I turned around, and there was Saigusa-san holding a package of A4 recycled paper in her hands. Oh, Kamari-chan, yahoo! Oh, Kamari-chan, too, yahoo! Yahoo! They greeted each other in a friendly manner. Saigusa-san, who often visited our classroom, had already become friends with everyone, and it seemed like she was on good terms with Kamari-san. Haru-chan, do you have some business here as well? Hmm, well, something like that. Were you asked to copy something? I ran into the dorm head earlier. Oh my, that was harsh, really harsh. Did you return past curfew again and make her angry? Well, she dodged the question by laughing. You really shouldn't be doing that all the time. Mm, of course, I reflected on my actions. Yep. So she didn't reflect on anything. 
リキ君は次の授業で使うプリントリキ君 is that a handout for next class? Looks that way. It was needed on a short notice. The copy machine kept on spitting out the sheets of paper one by one. 時間かかりそう Looks like it'll take a while, huh? I wonder. I have a feeling it will, since there are four pages and I need to copy both sides. そっか Hmm, I see. She set the package of paper on the bench. But she didn't show any inclination to begin working after that. Sagasa-san, won't you be late for class if you don't get started soon? Hmm, hmm well, that's how it is.、Hmm. She seemed to be looking for something. She was tapping on the pocket of her uniform restlessly.、Oh? Hmm? What's the matter? Could it be.、Oh? Yep. Don't tell me, you don't have a copy card. Yeah, it's just how it is. Well,、uh, to be honest, that's just how it is. <laughs> don't ahaha、uh, me. Riki kun, kakomari chan, copy card kaste. Riki kun, kakomari chan, could you lend me your card? Ah,、oh, I saw this coming. <laughs> I don't have one, I'm sorry. No, no, that's not your fault. I don't have one either, we're the same, the same. So that's why, Riki kun, could you lend it to me for a moment? No can do. Besides, this is the teacher's card. Oh, really? Well, don't you have your student's card on you? Well, sure I do. The many copiers on campus, of course, weren't free of charge. Students used copy cards that were similar to prepaid cards. They were sold in the,、uh, eh, in the school store. A card for 110 pages went for 500 yen. I had a brand new card, good for 110 copies, in my pocket. Would you lend it to me for a moment? I'll give it back later. It can't be helped. I handed my card to her. I'll help you.、Mm, thanks. She handed the sheets of paper to Komari. Yeah, Komari san. Why am I having such a hard time reading today? How many pages do you need? 30 枚ぐらい寮の後期粛清のお知らせ It's about. 30. It's a notification about, it,、er, about enforcement of stricter discipline in the dorm. What? I looked at the sheet of paper Kamari san was feeding into the copier. Be late to school and die weak. Strict observance of the curfew. On top of that, there's a list of students who require special attention written on it. Atop the list was Saigasa san. It's like I'm in the limelight. It's not just like that. You really are. Thinking from the dorm head's perspective, making her copy this must have been intended as punishment. Um, A4, A4. She got caught in the copy machine. Kumari chan looks like you're having fun. She shook her hand frantically. Well, you know, it was the first time I've seen anyone like this. Alright, let's use this rare opportunity and copy Kumarin! Let's go! Oh god. She pressed the start button. The machine made a loud sound and began operating. Well, let's help her already. I opened the lid and helped her stand. Are you alright? I was so startled. How should I put it? She's the kind of person one can't take their eyes off of. Wow,、oh, this is terrible. Amid a pitch black blot, there was something that resembled Kamari san's squished face. How should I say it? This is gross. <laughs> Uh, 
I noticed that Kamari-san's copies continued coming out. Hey, didn't you make too many? Uh, what do? I pressed the cancel button to stop it from printing any more copies. Oh, I forgot to change the number of copies! <laughs> you just wasted 14 copies. Oh, oh, I'm sorry! I'll get you a new card later! You'd better! But they have artistic value, so let's put them up all over the school. The title is 14 Sheets of Komarin! Artistic! Look! When you put them together like this, they're gr uh, artistic! Stop that! What an odd pair they were. Ugh, goodness. I turned the copy machine back on. I looked at Saigasasan, who was humming while operating the copier, and started to doubt whether there was any meaning to this notification. Hey, Rikikun! Hmm? What? I like the smell of freshly printed paper. Soybeans are used to make soy ink. If you think about it, it's a tasty smell. Really? Uh, she was interested in something that had nothing to do with the actual purpose of the notification. Huh? There's something wrong. It's nothing. You're weird, Ikikun. I had a feeling that the one being strange was Saigasasan, pressing the sheet of paper against her nose. The copy machine gave a beep. I'm done! Thanks to you both! You're welcome. Yep, it's totally fine! I took the card back from her and suddenly noticed something. You left your paper on the bench, Saigasasan. Mm, you can use it. Huh? There probably won't be enough paper. As if her words were some kind of signal, the copier emitted a warning sound. Oh, it stopped. Please load paper. Uh, she was right. I'll see you later. Thanks for lending me the card. Uh, wait, Saigasasan. She's gone. She had already disappeared before I could say anything else. Let's load the paper. Let me handle it. There's some left here too. Let's put them together. Um, okay. She opened the paper tray, which was naturally empty. We adjusted the settings and resumed copying. Ugh. The first thing that came out was a copy of Kamari-san. You mixed up the papers. I got it all wrong! Oh goodness, why? It took 15 minutes to finish. Let's go back! She started walking, the copies in her hand. That's alright, I'll take them. They're fine! Actually, I was the one who asked to do it. Then, let's divide them in half! She gave me half of the handouts and we returned to the classroom. Good God, Kamari! Why? Why are you so cute? Ah! After our next class ended, I had been helping Masato, who was asked to clean up the, the instruments in the science classroom, and we were returning to our classroom. Marina, hey, sorry for making you help me. Oh, don't sweat it. Besides, you helped me before as well. Every day, different students were randomly asked to clean up the labware. Who or whoops who in the world's done such a thing? Huh? A loud voice was coming from the classroom. At the same time, someone leapt out into the hall. you little No my I appeared at the wrong time again. Did something happen again? Ah, 
she began to walk next to me and looking at her she had her usual carefree smile so that thing we talked about before unfocused i was just nodding my head while giving her an occasional half-hearted reply god her story is pretty sad too though Ugh. in the end i still hadn't found a roommate for cood but we will worry about that in the next episode of Little Busters. So if you liked this one, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye